Hi, Alan Schimmel, DevOps Starcom here, day two of Jenkins World. Happy to be joined by our next guest, uh, Shashi Karan, Chief Marketing Officer of Quali. Shashi, welcome. Thank you, Alan. Glad to be here. Thank you. So, Chash, Shashi, first of all, uh, Quali may not be a company that our audience is familiar with. Why don't you give us just a quick background on, on uh, Quali and what, what they do? Absolutely. Um, so Quali is a venture funded startup. It is uh, focused on the DevOps as well as BizOps uh, optimization use cases. Mm -hmm. And auto automation, it's really focused on the automation uh, life cycle there. Um, so what Quali does is it uh, helps build what we call as cloud sandboxes. Uh -huh. And uh, these sandboxes are environments that could be stood up and um, uh, really model the full stack uh, environment or physical, virtual, all the way through applications and um, expedite the dev test aspects of um, today's CI CD and um, in the process, you know, really make the whole DevOps cycle a lot more agile, compressed and get your releases to market much faster. So, so would it, is it sort of like a sandbox as a service then? So uh, it's a sandbox um, that could be consumed as a service, yes. And um, so typically we have um, you know, different users who want to um, test complex environments, automate it, and then orchestrate and deploy it. And what Quali does is allow them to model these different components in a very elegant way and um, bring those environments up for the duration of your test cycle and um, tear it down once uh, the process is completed. So it's really allowing for um, uh, much more efficient utilization of resources uh -huh. and um, expediting this whole DevOps life cycle in the process as well. Sure, so let me just be clear and if, I, if I'm wrong, correct me. People aren't standing this up for production environments, this is strictly for your QA, dev, test environment. Well, today that's uh, where it's predominantly used. Uh, we have uh, the ability to get this into production as well, but uh, for the most parts, um, it's in the f you know first mile of DevOps or the last mile of CI, as you Got might it. call it. And um, we do handhold it through the staging process and into uh, potentially deployment. Uh, the other ways in which uh, quality sandboxes get used is when you have to bring in, you know, demo environments on the fly and um, really replicate complex infrastructures uh, and co complicated en uh, environments. So it allows uh, our customers to bring these uh, multiple demo environments, look at uh, training, which is where you, you might need to bring in complicated environments on the fly for different training sure. use cases or for uh, replicating you know, uh, customer issues when you are troubleshooting proof of concepts. So these are some of the typical use cases, but for the most part, our customers use it to replicate a production environment and bring this early yeah. on. So every developer or tester has access to a very holistic environment instead of having a siloed uh, view. Understood. And that helps improve the quality, but also helps you expedite the whole release management process. I understand. So, um, Shashi, so in, in, in addition to sort of being able to rapidly duplicate the environment for, for our testing purposes, are, are there any sort of testing tools that come with the sandbox, so to speak? Well, or, uh, or the people bring in their own testing tools at that point? It's very flexible in that way. You can uh, model anything that you would potentially want. For example, we can work with Ixias, traffic generators, uh -huh. anything. You know, we expect a very heterogeneous environment. And um, it's something that could be deployed on-premise or, for example, into AWS or Azure. So you and do, I, that was my next question, yes. actually. <laughs> so you, you, could, you could do this in an AWS environment, you could do it in an Azure environment. What about like OpenStack? Yeah, so the sandbox could potentially be deployed in any of these different deployment paths. And mm -hmm. we are in the process of bringing OpenStack uh, as a deployment path as well. And mm -hmm. we do help... Uh, you know, look at containers with Docker, Docker Swarm as a deployment path as well. Sure. And as so are, are you looking to do that as well then, like set up a sandbox where you can 
check your Docker conf configs or Docker deployment. Right. So you could potentially get it into um, a Docker environment, a Docker container. So one of the analogies we use is just as you would uh, potentially have Docker for applications, you could look at sandboxes as a container for infrastructure. Having said that, we have extended that capability to now bring applications as well. So the sandboxes are truly full stack in that um, notion. And so um, here at this conference, for example, we are um, we have just announced as of last week a plugin into uh -huh. the Jenkins pipeline. And so you're able to now invoke a sandbox from the pipeline process and have it uh, go through the oh, testing, nice. staging process and with a start stop for the sandbox. So it's actually pretty you cool know that would, Yeah, that is a nice piece of work. Is this your first Jenkins World for Quali? Or? It is. It is our first Jenkins what World. Was your, what would, so this is day two or in the afternoon or yeah. after lunch anyway. Yeah. Uh, what's your impressions been? I'm actually very surprised and uh, pleasantly so uh, with the kind of engagement that we've had with Jenkins World. Uh, my team especially were very happy with the kind of uh, interaction, the questions that they were receiving. Mm -hmm. And uh, the audience is very knowledgeable and we're looking at, um, you know, a whole new direction for uh, not just us in the company but the industry as well as the whole process of continuous integration and deployment becomes mm -hmm. more of the norm than the exception. Yeah. And DevOps uh, uh, as a culture becomes, uh, again, more of the norm than the exception. So we're very excited to be a part of the conference in here, but also very excited to be at this particular inflection point in the industry. It's yeah. uh, where a lot of transformation is going on, and I think we are doing our bit in terms of facilitating and fostering the transformation. Absolutely. Let me ask you a little bit, sort of, who, who's the, what do the typical customers for Quali look like? Sure. Um, so, you know, we look at this DevOps and BizOps lifecycle quite holistically. Um, a lot of our customers are those who are looking to automate their dev test environments. And uh, today, if you look at it, um, uh, there's a lot of uh, Uber trends that are going on. You know, companies are undertaking uh, digitization. They're going down the path of uh, application modernization, bringing in IoT, uh, exposing themselves to different security um, mm -hmm. you know, postures to harden it against different attacks. So uh, many of them have to bring up fairly complicated environments and make sure that they're in a position to test it. So the dev test audience has traditionally been the um, primary uh, buying center for uh, Quali. Oh, yeah. And then as you go down the path, now we're starting to address the CI, CD um, customers who are engaging with that and they want to bring the sandbox in, in that uh, con context. And uh, as I talked about some of the use cases, you know, demos, proof of concept, training, and uh, those, those are some of the use cases getting deployed. And we also have some customers that want to, um, you know, take the infrastructure they have and uh, with the sandbox concept, expose API. So they ex abstract the complexity of the infrastructure, hide it underneath, and expose the infrastructure APIs to developers to come and engage um, with us. So in terms of customers, we have um, you know large cloud providers. Mm -hmm. um, you, you could say the top um, um, three out of the top five. And uh, we have a number of s global service providers, Fortune 100 companies. We have a, a number of large enterprises in the financial services uh, sector, healthcare, and we also have uh, technology vendors. For example, somebody like Cisco, mm -hmm. you know, um, they have a very huge strategic initiative called DevNet. Where, yes, uh, I know Susie yeah, Lee very well. That's right. So Cisco is again a customer that leverages Quali, um, which is uh, powering DevNet, for example. Sure. So uh, it's it's a very what? broad range. Yep, Shashi. Would would what Quali does be part of sort of immutable infrastructure, where where you know it's basically build it up, tear it down, build it up, tear it. You know, there's you know we could just it's immutable, right? We it, it we build it on a you know on a moment's notice. You're done, and then you take it down, you put it back up. Yeah. Is is that part of what's driving the success there? You think? Yeah. Well, uh, see if you look at it at uh, macro level. Everybody wants to move fast. Mm -hmm. So the um, the language of uh, IT today is more about fast IT. But then when you want to move fast, you don't want to be reckless. 
Right. So how do you move fast without being reckless? And and that means you need to take certain risks, but at the same time uh, not compromise on quality. Right. And um, w when you want to move fast, it's also uh, making sure you're doing it in a very efficient way. So if you don't have a solution like Quali, somebody needs to stand up the infrastructure to replicate these environments for different use cases that typically takes weeks. And uh, what we allow them to do is compress that in, 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 in terms of the whole workflow itself into a matter of a few minutes. You know, once you get the hang of the uh, cloud shell product, the ability to create blueprints on the fly, then it allows them to go stand up these environments very quickly. It has a reservation system, so it means there is no conflict between different users. And it also goes and provisions the different infrastructure the configures, uh, configuration of physical components, virtual, accommodating a very heterogeneous canvas. Uh -huh. And that's very powerful because for them, it allows them to shrink the speed at which they can put new releases out with quality almost by a factor of 10x. And so that's, that's huge. I think that's one part in which Quali is uh, contributing a lot of value, in w which in some ways is contributing to our success as well. And uh, as this whole... Uh, notion of just-in-time releases and things like that become more of the norm, even in traditional IT environment. Um, so we, we think the value that we bring in with the sandboxes uh, will help them become much more agile, but also efficient, and in the process, lower costs, because you know nobody has a lot of resources to throw at the problem. It's how can you do more with less? Sure. And uh, so that's the dilemma the industry at large is trying to deal with, and mm -hmm. we think we're one small cog in the wheel, but um, hopefully an important cog in the wheel. Sometimes that's all it takes is to be the one small part. Yes. Well, Shashi, we're about out of time. Um, as it goes quickly, I, I'm sorry. But um, thanks very much for coming in and updating us on Quali. Glad to see you here at Jenkins World. We hope to see you at future CloudBees, Jenkins, DevOps events. Thank and you, um, keep us posted. Absolutely. And for your audience, I would encourage them to go check out uh, quali.com. It's Q-U-A-L-I.com. And you'll probably find a lot of uh, use cases and information which may be relevant to what you're doing right now. So good luck. Great. Thank you. Shashi Karan, Chief Marketing Officer Quali at, here at Jenkins World. This is Alan Schimmel for DevOps.com.